Hello everyone. In the previous video, I've talked about consonants in English by comparing them to the sounds in Burmese. In this video, I'll talk about the vowel system. So let's get started. First, we'll take a look at Burmese vowels. In this vowel diagram, we can see eight vowels. Hmm. Burmese kind of have eight base vowels like a, e, u, e, a, o, a, o. They're correct except for a. Because this is a nasal vowel, English don't have nasal vowels, but other languages like French have them. We learn English, so I will not explain about those nasal vowels in this video. Now we're gonna do a little bit of change to the remaining seven vowels, and one extra. Now we have eight vowels. I'll just put them in the corresponding positions. Wait, how are we supposed to know which one is which? Well, it's time to explain them. The first thing we need to understand is the vowel diagram, also known as vowel chart. This chart is classified by openness and backness. The vertical column shows the openness. That means how far apart your tongue is from the roof of your mouth. Look at the picture. The first one shows that the distance between the tongue and the roof of the mouth is relatively narrow. That is called closed. In the second one, the distance increases and is called mid. The distance is the farthest in the last one and is called open. Let's look at the backness of vowels. That means how far back your tongue is in your mouth. Look at the picture. In the first one, we can see that the tongue is apparently in the front part of the mouth. You need this position to produce front vowels. In the second one, the tongue is in the back, and it can produce back vowels. Now you know how vowels are classified. Let's look at cardinal vowels. These vowels are the extreme points in vowel diagram, hence the name. There is also a thing called roundedness, which means the rounding of lips. But for the sake of simplicity, we'll assume that all front vowels are unrounded and all back vowels are rounded. Let's look at each one. The first one is close front vowel. Look at the picture. The teeth are almost touching, and the tongue is in the front part of the mouth. It is pronounced e. Position your mouth like that and try to pronounce e. Next one is more open than the last one. Look at that picture and try to pronounce a. To see the difference between them, let's say. E, a, okay. Next one. This one is more open than the last, and is a. Copy the mouth position and try to pronounce a. To compare them, e, a, a. Notice how your mouth getting wider with each vowel. E, a, a. Next one. This one has the widest mouth position and is ah. Let's try it. Ah. To compare them, e, a, a, ah. These four are front vowels and the lips are unrounded. Let's look at rounded lips vowels. Look at the picture. Round your lips as if you're kissing someone and try to pronounce oo. You can feel that the tongue position is different from the front vowels. To see the difference, let's say e, u. Okay, next one. Open your mouth a bit more and pronounce o. Compare it with the last one. U, o. Next one. The mouth gets wider and is o. To compare these three, let's say u. O, O. Okay, last one. The mouth is very wide and is O. To compare them, U, O, O, O. You can see that these four vowels have rounded lips. Now we have look at all the cardinal vowels. Let's try them all. E, A, 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 U. O, O, O. 
If we put Burmese vowels in this diagram, we will see like this. And with Burmese sounds, now all that makes sense, right? You can see that the Burmese vowels have very similar sounds to their neighbors. The vowels in almost all languages can be described by this diagram, whether you're learning English, French, German, Japanese, or Korean. But since you're learning English, we'll be looking at two important vowel systems. These are British and American vowels. As you can see, they can also be expressed accurately by the vowel diagram. So, why don't we combine them? They're both English, right? Well, we can't, because they're not the same. Let's overlap them to see what I mean. Look at this. The positions aren't exactly the same, and some symbols are different from each other. And that difference in position is the main reason why we have British accent and American accent. Now I think you're ready to learn British and American vowels. Well, that's all for this video. In the next video, I'll explain about British vowels. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like or subscribe to my Facebook page or my YouTube channel. Stay tuned.